Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Inspired Existence, not with the fox, with the sheriff. On this episode, we're going to rebuild the sheriff. This is not an in the build. This is a more of a uh, bit of a spun out video. Um, now, it's not every day that uh, you get the option to buy your old car back. You miss it, whatever. Um, let alone uh, whether it's still on the road, might have been scrapped, all that kind of stuff. But in this case, my old Hilux, my first Hilux, that uh, basically got me into mini trucking, um, turned into the sheriff. Uh, when I sold it, it went through a few hands. Uh, turns out it ended up blowing the motor, ended up at a wreckers, guy bought it from a wreckers, took what he wanted from it, passed it on to another bloke. He took what he wanted from it, got screwed over trying to sell the cab and all that. And uh, I ended up getting the tailgate back with... Um, some of the drawings that we did on the tailgate uh, as the sheriff, stickers have been peeled off, but I can recut them. And um, he, he gave me the tailgate and the old original wooden roll pan that I made out of Jarrah years and years ago. Um, I, I had the car for oh, 10, 10 or so years, um, got rid of it maybe four years ago. Uh, and uh, this bloke, Reese hit me up and he said, oh, are you interested in, in getting the sheriff? Um, back um, for yard art and I said look I'm not I don't really want to buy it um, but he goes no you can have it so I got the sheriff back um, pretty crazy it has been painted since I owned it um, bit of a pearly white but backyard job I got the tub out there too so I've got the tub the cab Came with all the glass. Uh, unfortunately, front end had been cut off. That was why the cab was basically useless to him now. Um, but I'll weld that back on because for me, I'm not going to rebuild it. I'm going to make it the sheriff again. But I live on five acres and I've got a fair few yard art cars. So this is going to go back to being the sheriff. Um, and it's going to end up in my bush. Uh Rusting away there, peacefully, living its second life. Uh, interior is all being stripped, um, but most most of my old truck is here. It's uh, I just need a new bumper and grill for it. But other than that, pretty stoked actually. Like it's still in reasonable condition. There's a few dings and stuff here and there, but you know. Reese did me a solid and yeah, I'm going to spend a day with my family. We're going to paint it back up again and move it out into the bush. So stick with us and see how we go.
remember the post that I hit back when I owned this car. <laughs> So the day has come where I am finally at a stage where I can get the sheriff into position out in the bush. I've cut the front tubs out, I've got the front welder back on, welded, kind of just tack welded back on. Um, everything is all stickered up, it's painted, I've got the tub is in black again. The only thing left to do will be to cut the tubs out to stick some tyres up under there once we get into position. But other than that, we're done. It's ready to go. Uh, I have asked Reese, who kindly donated this back to me for yard art, um, if he wanted to come up and help put it into place. So I'm just waiting for Reese to get here and then uh, we're gonna start moving this bad boy back out into the bush. I'll show you where it's gonna go. I cleared a bit of a spot yesterday. Next to this big burnt out log. She's just gonna live there. So, from the shed, we can take a piss in the urinal and look out at the sheriff. Looks like some of the helpers have arrived. Now, originally when I sold this car, um, the one thing that I wouldn't mind to get back was the wooden roll pan that I made. Um, but it actually stayed on the car through the owners going forth um, and managed to get it back. Um, yeah, it was a little bit broken, so I've just screwed some uh, some Jarrah boards there. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect, it's only gonna be rough. But um, yeah, pretty stoked to get it back. Got an old acrylic flatline plate that's gonna sit there. So let's get it screwed on. Can you film for daddy? Yeah, you hold that and you film daddy. Okay. Okay. So the one person that made this possible to have the sheriff back in my possession is this gentleman here, Reese. After a long, hard negotiation, <laughs> we came to a deal and uh, I always wanted to see the sheriff like this. <laughs>
there we go. The sheriff has been rebuilt, sort of. It's uh, going to live out the rest of its life here at our property. And uh, yeah, this is the way I always wanted to see the sheriff, but uh, never had the, uh, the funds or the mindset to go down the path of bagging it. And then it uh, got sold on. I owned this car uh, for about 10 years, bought it in 2010. And uh, yeah, ended up passing it on, swapping it for something else. And um, yeah, it's done its rounds. It ended up at a wreckers and it's come back into my possession. So massive thanks to Reese for uh, getting this back. And um, yeah, one day we'll have a beer around it and we'll just let it sit there and live out the rest of its life here. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. We've got one coming up with the In The Build uh, series with the Fox. Um, we're just waiting on some stuff to come in for the wiring side of things and get the, uh, the JZ running. So see you then.